Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a partition wall between BAID TS8 industrial enclosures. So the tools you're going to need for this, you're going to need a T25 Torx bit or screwdriver, a T30 Torx bit or screwdriver, cordless screwdriver or hand tools, a measuring tape, and then a wood wedge or a large flat blade screwdriver. Alright, so these instructions might be a little difficult to see. But basically, I've got four brackets, three brackets on this side, four brackets, and my first dimension from the bottom of the frame down to the center point of this bracket is 81 millimeters. And then from this bracket to that bracket is the height of my cabinet is 1800. So I'm going to do 525. And then you do the same thing from the bottom. So it's coming up 81 millimeters. And then the same number 525 from that bracket to the center point of that bracket. When installing a partition wall between BAID TS8s, you're not going to be able to use 8800.500 quick wedge brackets on the vertical nor the horizontal profiles. There's just not enough room with the lip on the bracket to install them between the frame and the panel. Um, other choices you'll be able to use are 8800 490s. These install on the outside, three on the front, three on the back of the vertical profile. 8800 410s inside on the vertical, or 4582 500 brackets installed both horizontally and vertically. You can use 8800 430, the corner brackets for these installations. So the first thing that I'm going to do to install my first bracket for my partition wall is that measurement of 81 millimeters. So I'm going to measure from the inside of the frame down 81 millimeters and that should be the center point of the threaded hole in my first bracket. Now these brackets have a little tab on them so I can insert that into the slot of the profile and then slide it over. Now the number of self-tapping screws really is up to you. In this video I'm only going to use two. There are actually four holes. I'm going to put one on the back of the bracket, one at the side, and that'll be sufficient for what I want to do and probably for what you want to do too because these aren't really going to be load-bearing panels although they could be potentially. Most of the times these are going to be used for a physical barrier between uh, bait cabinets or to contain climate control. So the next installation of my bracket will be from the one that I just installed and I'm going to come down from the center point of that hole 525 millimeters and this is based again from the instructions on the height of my cabinet. So I've marked the frame. I'm going to install, install my next bracket. And again, I'm just going to use two self-tapping screws. And then you're just going to repeat this from the bottom up. So we're going to do the same thing from the bottom of the frame, up 81 millimeters to install my first bracket. And from the center point of that bracket, 525 millimeters to the center point um, of my other bracket and that'll be four on the back. I repeat the process for the front and now I've got all the bracketry install installed for my partition wall. So to slide my panel in, um, I found it easiest just to install the bottom first kind of at an angle and then to tip it up and you want the folds of the panel going toward the brackets that you've installed. And here's where I use the flat blade screwdriver or maybe a wood wedge if you had it just to prop the panel into position. This lines all the holes up nicely to come back in later and put my fasteners in. So these are T30s. So I'm going to take my cordless screwdriver and my T30 Torx bit and install the screws through the panel into the threaded hole in each of the brackets. And again, you're going to have four in the front, four in the back. These install in the vertical profiles only. And then what you can see too is that there is a clearance from this panel around to the frame. Most times people are using this for a physical barrier, a touch safe barrier between maybe high voltage and low voltage, but if you want to use it to contain climate control, the partition wall also comes with a very thick rubber gasket that you can then press into place all the way around the panel. This is a look from the back side of the panel so you can see how this should be looking for your installation. Then from the front side of the panel, you can see it's very clean. Now I've installed my mounting panel, partition off to the side, Thank you for viewing.